What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Ooh. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff, and this is episode 1 of L.A. Noir. I've been really looking forward to playing this game, it's been a game that I've revisited many times in the past, um, at least on my own obviously. Um, it's a really cool experience, and uh, I hope you guys are surprised and excited to see me play it as well. Of course, um, this is another Rockstar game, which we've not we've had a little bit of a break from Rockstar. Literally by the case of about half a year, maybe since we finished Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, so I'll be completely open as to my relationship with this game. As I said, I've played it many times, although I've never finished it. It's been one of them games that I've always sort of binge played for ages and then sort of burned out from it. And then by the time I want to come back to it, I just started anew. So I think uh, there are five desks there's the patrol, traffic, homicide, vice, and arson. And the furthest I've got is the start of Vice, I think, so there's a good two-fifths of the game that I've never played before. Um, this is the PlayStation 4 version of the game, which I am playing on the PlayStation 5. I don't know if there's any sort of upscale that went on there, but uh, that is the edition that I'm playing. Um, but we'll need to start a new game because it's carried over my save files from playing it on the PlayStation 4. Um, as it is the remastered version, it does include all of the DLC and all of the extra cases and outfits and such, and so those will be incorporated into the guide as well. Um, I am following a 100% guide to this so I can find all the clues, get all the right interrogation things, because it is a Let's Play, um, but it is a 100% one, so I want to make sure that I get that. And uh, the one that I'm using actually also incorporates achievements into it, so hopefully we'll be getting all of those as well, but as I said, I have played this before, so I have got quite a lot of the achievements, but not all of them. Anyway, uh, I do not want to get the tutorial cases. That's the um, patrol desk, because they are part of the guide. Uh, the way I've decided to approach this, because in my mind, um, in fact, I'll, I'll let the cutscene play it, and then we'll talk afterwards. Of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. It's also a really interesting part of American history, the 1940s. Huh? It's an era I find. Um, Quite fascinating. Every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. Just uh, experiencing the post war boom. See, not as. Um, a man's home is his castle. Not as much of a boom after the First World War, but. By victory. Pretty significant time, at the very least. The city of opportunists. It's quite interesting watching this cutscene. A lot of these things actually play out during the game. Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. You might see some of the um, the faces in here along our, guy, along our game. So yeah, it's really cool. I sort of think the quality is meant to look a bit crappy in this cutscene because it's, it's like it's being filmed, obviously. Qualities. It's hard to attain. Of course, this is his first appearance, but uh, if you recognise the facial features of that gentleman, he will later return as Micah Bell in Red Dead Redemption 2. So. Peter Blomquist. He's a great actor. Plays some right bastards, though. <laughs> City that has no boundaries. I 
will stretch as far as the eye can see. Illuminati. Samhauser, Danhauser, the boys, the goats. Okay, I think we're about to start. Upon the reflection. Way, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGB out Damn. calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective and ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. All right, there we go. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Hmm. Yeah, I think when it comes to Rockstar protagonists, um, Cole isn't quite the most sort of... Uh, the happiest soul. He's a bit of a... bit of a down and out guy, but... Uh, Still a very interesting protagonist. You might back up. Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got I'm places here. to be. Happy hunting. Yeah, I should also say um, there might be things in this game that might make you make you feel a bit uncomfortable because bit it is very much it's going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just um, get it historically over accurate when it comes to right, sorts of prejudices against we'll right up to the back wall. certain Just groups in society, anything, such as um, me and we'll talk it out. Okay, can I, Two can, heads are always better than one. Can I talk, dude? Can I talk, Don? Um, so, yeah, so obviously there's a lot of racism, there's a lot of homophobia, um, you know, there's a lot of hate against sort of left leaning groups and stuff like that. Um, again, it's historically accurate. If you can sit through Red Dead Redemption 2, I think that's a lot, um, that has a lot more of um, stronger themes than this game does, but it's not perfect. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, so before we went into this, um, I decided, um, I was in my mind to debate whether or not I would just do this as a standard let's play of which I will link, shush, I'm going to pause the game because he's just going to keep overriding me. When it comes to the collectibles and from the second desk upwards, there are street crimes that take place during the cases themselves where you'll be like driving to a location and then you'll get a call saying, oh, will you do this side mission? I'm going to do those at the end of each case. Um, in fact, we're going to come over here. We're actually going to have our... The only collectibles I'm going to be doing as part of the guide, uh, part of the main cases, is the newspapers, because they're meant to be found during the cases. Give me a second, done. Alright, so we have our first newspaper, which is Shrink Says the Mind is the Final Frontier. Because this is sort of like a side story that goes across the entire game. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you they just put a big tash on him? Mr. The same person. <laughs> Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hand. Shift. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You around. went through a lot together. Yes, doctor. 
Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Oh, that's malicious. But yeah, like I said, um, that's just a side story that builds up over the course of the game, and I'm fairly sure it ends up ends up playing a part towards the end. But um, the other collectibles, they're like golden records, there are landmarks, there are. Like um, comic books and stuff like that. Um, we'll get those in a certain period, but um, I'll not do that. What I'm also going to do, because there is also a... One of the collectibles in this game is to drive every type of car. If I find a new car, I'm going to get in it. And I do have like a big checklist. Oh, I can't get in that, never mind. Oh, can I get in this side? I have a big checklist where I've marked all the cars, and then obviously as we go through, I'll know exactly which ones I've done and which ones I haven't done. Um... So, yeah, but if you can hear, um, in the game, every time it does that little noise, it means you're walking over a clue. Not necessarily one that's going to actually be useful, like that, um, but, and also the music that's going on in the background, it means there are still clues relating to the case that, uh, still have to be scanned. Can I have a look at this? Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. All right, what's that? If we have a look, you can. Hang on, can we? Oh, you got to look up the. You can see the gun on the Ralph, roof. There's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. Okie dokie. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. It's all right. Let me just Assassin's Creed my way up this sucker. We'll get it. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Hmm. Two, Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow yep. up on this now before the perp tries to leave. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right. That's Boogie. All right, so if you, uh, so if you press sure the select button. It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. Bring up all your notes the for the case. Didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Seems lovely. All right, so we got the gun store. Guns and ammunition sales downtown outlet. 367 South Central Avenue. All right. Now, it doesn't actually set like a waypoint in like the traditional sense. Can we get in this car now? No, we can't. Okay. Um, it'll just set you like a the little flag on the mini map in the bottom left corner, as you can see, and you've just basically got to follow that. Uh, but yeah. So, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, the, there are four cases in um, the patrol desk. Most of them, I think, maybe the first and the fourth one, are the one that we're doing right now, and the last one in this case are kind of longer, because they pertain to like the major cases that we end up doing, and then the second and third one are sort of tutorials for 
combat, whether that be um, fist fighting and um, actual shooting as well. Now, I don't think they matter much in these cases because they're tutorials, but in later cases you actually get um, star ratings depending on how you did the case. Obviously, the main ones being whether you found all the clues, you said all the right things at interrogations, which you will see later on. So the things I'm talking about right now, I think, what? You will see them later on, don't worry about it, in, in these um, first four cases. Uh, that was a good thing. One of the other things is turning to um, car and property damage, and you want to keep that down to a minimum. And the easier way of doing that in this game is, later on, you'll actually have the ability to just fast travel and letting your partner drive to the locations. But there is also an achievement to this game for driving so many miles across the game. And I do want to hopefully get platinum on this game through the course of this Let's Play, so I'm probably going to do the driving on my own and then just be careful with it. I'll probably just do cuts in between journeys and that sort of thing. Except for conversations, because they do occasionally have conversations. Sometimes if you drive into places, um, like Dispatch might call the car and give you some new information as well, so... Officers yeah. Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Ooh. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Oh, you're a bright one. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Uh, 27, that's nickel. Uh, 27, 27, 27, 27. Um, wait, am I tripping? I... Ah, 27, this one. Errol Schroeder. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Mm. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Okie dokie. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Right, apparent residence of Errol Schroeder. Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Okay. Alright, so. So you can actually um, open the map like this, and obviously you can see. Oh my god, look at the goddamn size of it. <laughs> There's a lot of. Uh, a lot of markers. But, oh, hang on. Hmm. Curious that they've already got some places marked. Um, what's this? That's the crime scene, okay. Um, I'm hoping it's not kept the collectibles across, has it? Uh, ooh. Hmm. I don't know. I hope, I hope that's just the uh, the stats that I've crossed over and it's not actually going to have all the collectibles marked. And I mean, I can't get them up again. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. Ooh. One of a kind mercy. Oops. Slow down! Alright. Yes, so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Ah, what, a, what, a, what a lovely uh, partnership this is. <laughs> It's not, not the most wholesome one from what I uh, remember, but uh, you got some pretty pretty cool bromances going on in some of the later uh, later desks. But whatever. 
All right, let's uh, let's go check out this fool. Oh, d d d dude! Okay, that dude totally drove into me. You saw it then. The first one did at least. The second one, that was my bad, but you know. Right. Break the hell up. I'm a police officer. Spot inspector mailbox to learn your suspect's apartment number. Number two. Schroeder, apartment two. Okay. And do number two, that'll be this one. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Ooh. Ooh. You ready, tough? <gasps> that was a very... Come on. Come on. You, you want some of You want some of That's right, you son of a bitch. Ooh. He's down. Ralph, you alright? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Okay. I'm fairly sure it's just in here. This is the only clue we need to find. So, swear that baby open. Hmm. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, I think that's the end of the first case, actually. And we occasionally get these flashbacks to call... Calls, um... Contribution to the Second World War, which is also very fascinating and it explains a lot about his character and his relationship with some of the characters that we will meet later on. You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper! Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me! Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig! Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe! I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. I don't get the appeal of an assholes like that. I understand Jill Sargent's have to be obviously quite brutal to maintain, you know, the teach discipline and everything like that. Well, but if you just right just could be like that, that's City just that needed an honest cop like a thirsty prick, man needed you know water. I mean? You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, 
suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. Working out of my route. Okay, so this is, as I was saying, a sort of introduction to the armed combat in this game. It's also very similar to what your typical street crime will play out to be, which are the sorts of side missions that go alongside the main cases of the future desks. Um, but the, the, this is literally, it's a, it's a very short mission. That guy's gun on his face never fails to crack me up. <laughs> Oh, this is quite revolutionary at the time for having made for, uh, facial capture. But there's no. Uh, there's no quick time. There's no um, dead eye or anything in this game. No special abilities. It's just. Um, why is nobody covering me? Why are you? LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a, a chance to chance, copper. Kill okay. a cop and it's the um, chair. So this the reason I drop in the shotgun is because there is achieve, an achievement in this game for getting a kill with every weapon in the game, and this is the only case that you actually get the 44 Magnum. Um, I assume because this is the the gun of the patrol desk, and this is the only one with actual armed combat in it. So you want to make sure to drop the shotgun, which was with um L1 or LB. I think we got him, Cole. And get a kill with that pistol. Because you can you can repeat cases in the game, so if you need to do it, then you can do both. Anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Aww. Character development. Maybe Dunn's not going to be as much of an asshole anymore. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Hmm. Very interesting. Cold Cold to understand me. Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends. Their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! Right. So this is a suspect, uh, a pursuit, which again is something that will come up a few times in the main cases. So, Ooh. yes, I can see that. Thank you. But usually there are several ways of um, right stopping a suspect before they get it, before they get too far away. But, uh, we'll get introduced to them as we go through. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Okay. Okay, I was gonna, I was kind of letting him close because I knew he was gonna do that. But I suppose they actually have to show him you show him doing that. If you have a drain pipe, they will quite often try and kick you if you catch up to them. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. Well, screw you again, you son of a bitch. 
Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Oh, that's not cricket. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Ooh. How you doing, Wendell? Destroyed. Bull officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Hmm. All right, and that is the third one. Warrant to standing. So we just have one more, but um, we'll save it for the next episode. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10, Franklin, 8, Weiss, 8, Donahoe, 6, Kowalski, 6, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 2, Leadership, Donahoe, 8, Franklin, 7, Merrill, 6, Kowalski, 6, Weiss, 5, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 1. Cool. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Oh, joy. All right, bye, everywhere. I'll let this intro play out, and then we'll actually do the case next go. time. There's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption. The gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Oh no. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. All right, so we'll get to that next Everybody time. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Alright, that is where we're going to end it for today. Uh, really glad that uh, we started this game. It is one of, uh, it's a favourite of mine. I'm glad I'm, this time I'm finally going to see it through, but I'm not also going to binge my way through it because obviously we're balancing this with four other Let's Plays. So um, I'll take my time with it a bit more and hopefully it means I won't be at the point like, oh my god, this game is still going on. Because it, it, it's not copy and paste, of course it's not, but they're all cases. You're all, you go to a zone, you find the crimes, you talk to the people, you go to the next place. It's that basically over the over the course of the whole game, but obviously the situations change, and I think if you take your time with it, and it's it's something new every time. So I'm really looking forward to playing it through with you guys. Uh, next episode we will be basic. I think we're just gonna do Bible Word because when it comes to us actually starting the proper cases, which usually are a lot longer, maybe even take us longer than an episode to do. Um, I'm just gonna do them on their own. I'm not going to sort of mix and match. I'm not going to do like a case and a half in two episodes and then a half a case in the next sort of thing if you get what I'm going for but I was different with the patrol desk because they are so short um, so we've got three done in one we'll just get one done in the other and then next week um, we will start off with our first on the traffic desk traffic is the second one uh, yeah so I hope you guys are looking forward to this let's play and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video but before I pop let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons my five pound patrons are Ever the Snake and Ron Hyler you can find links to their channels as well as my other three pound patrons to the description down below and don't screen your secrets my one pound patrons thank you so much everyone it is truly appreciated and it goes a long way on top of the channel so I do thank you a lot for that and if you should become a patron you could follow the link in the description down below but you don't have to do that because at the end of the day hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did be sure to like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye guys